Pokemon battles aren't only one-on-one, -on -one, you can have two-on-one! Or even multi-battles where a whole bunch of trainers get in on the action! Just the other day, I was rocking a battle with three trainers at once! What? what? A bunch of Pokemon all jumbled up in battle pack a powerful punch! Uh, but remember, some of them are your allies, so be extra careful when you're going all out! Ah! The result could be explosive! And the best part of a multi-battle is that all your friends are there too! And when you're with friends, you feel stronger, right? Friends, huh? Hmm? What? Did you just say something? Uh, just talking to myself. I wish I could relax, but I can't when all the big wigs are gathering. I wonder if Master Amethio is okay in there. Hmm. Hmm. The pendant Diana entrusted to her granddaughter has thus far eluded our cross. It came into contact with the Black Rayquaza in the Kanto region. Then, with our believer in Paldea, and after encountering Galarian Moltres, the pendant finally awoke, changing into this form of Terrabagos. <laughs> Cool story, but that Terra Cutie's still with those boars, isn't it? Since a certain someone let it escape. I say it's time we finish off those rising bolt tacklers once and for all, and take Terrapagos for ourselves. You're singing Carl's tune! I've got chills just thinking about it! I would argue that using force right now poses too large a risk. <gasps> That's awfully passive of you. You know something we don't? I don't. But fortunately, it seems they've yet to understand Terrapagos' true value. Therefore, I believe our best course of action is to closely observe them. I would agree. Hmm? Might I ask you to explain the reasoning behind such an opinion? What if our Arboliva and Galarian Moltres were not awakened by the Pendant's influence, but by the Black Rayquazas? So proximity with Rayquaza caused the awakening? Chasing Terrapagos is a waste of time. They'll still proceed with the singular aim of finding the Black Rayquaza. In other words, hurry up and wait, huh? Works for me. I agree this is the best strategic path forward. A fine suggestion. Not bad for someone on thin ice. Ah, uh, Methio? <laughs> so basically, the big plan is to just keep tailing him? You can all do as you please, but I will be the first one to reach Rayquaza. <laughs> <laughs>